Hey everyone, Devin here from American Aquarium, here to answer the question of why do I need a UV sterilizer? This is a debated topic and while you could say that you can keep a successful tank with not having a UV sterilizer, what we have found in keeping thousands of aquariums over a decade's worth of experience, it was clear to see that the tanks that had UV sterilizers on them actually did a lot better. The health of the fish were just so much better. Less disease and longer longevity. If you are looking into getting a UV sterilizer, please consider American Aquarium Products as your resource. We back one of the most professional brands in the industry. And something to consider is if you're actually going to get UV sterilization. There are sterilizers that are marketed as sterilizers, but there's a difference in the science which actually just makes them a clarifier. Where a sterilizer is actually going to protect the fish from bacteria, parasites, and up to viruses. I have some other videos about how to actually achieve sterilization based on the sterilizer that you have and if it actually can get sterilization. Look at our website for recommendations of what we would suggest to get sterilization. But don't be fooled to get a clarifier to think that you're actually going to get sterilization. It's not the same. So why you need a UV sterilizer can be answered in, well, why do we do water changes? That's probably the biggest rebuttal to why get a UV sterilizer. If you have good husbandry, you do good water changes, you shouldn't need a sterilizer. Our tests proved that with good husbandry, which included good water changes, quality feeding, still having a sterilizer proved to be best for fish health long term. So here's an easy way to show what we mean. As a fish tank matures and goes on day in and day out, it gathers acids. There's things that we put in our tank, food that's going to decay, go through a nitrogen cycle. It's going to take it from toxic acid to less toxic acid. So let's take these three aquariums and simulate what a fish tank will look like as time goes on with acids being added to the tank. This dye, which is actually a strong acid used for disease issues, is going to simulate the acid buildup in an aquarium. We'll get a nice pink tone. Let's make it pink throughout each aquarium. This will represent how acids are building up in the aquarium. So now someone will say, we'll do a water change. This will fix your acids. So if we simulate a water change, we'll take about 50% of the water out of this far aquarium over here. Now 50% water change is kind of not advice, but people do it. More 10 to 20% would be regular. But just to make a point, let's do a 50% water change, which will take 50% technically the acids out of the aquarium. So we've taken our acids out of the aquarium. Now let's add our fresh water. So there's a 50% water change. Note there is still a chemical pink hue to this aquarium. So now we can actually simulate this a little bit quicker by using something that, by using a chemical that will take acids out of the water. A popular one is Seachem Prime, which is used to detoxify ammonia, nitrite, and nitrates. Notice what happens to the water when we use the suggested amount. There it was, it's happening right now. And you can also kind of see what happened to our other aquarium that was pink. The fresh water has added, the fresh water that we added has helped turn that acid environment to brown. A chemical filtration will also do this, where it turns our pink hue to brown. What is happening is it's enabling the acids. It's technically called reducing the acids, it's eliminating them. 
You can see our chemical filtration with oh, it's maybe seven drops has completely turned this water brown. Okay, now Prime is what you would consider a fast acting, quick reducer that has short term effects. You can still see over here, while we've got some brown hue, we're not nearly as brown as over here as our chemical filtration. So to demonstrate this with a UV sterilizer, a UV sterilizer is going to have the same effect as this chemical reducer. There is a difference though in how it's done. What is, what's happening is it's gonna be a continual reduction as acids are always continually added in. It's something that's continually working on the water as acids are continually being added into the aquarium. So what we'll do is we'll take this UV sterilizer and run it on this water and watch as minutes go by and as hours go by how it reduces. So here's the thing with UV sterilization. It's not a cure-all, but it is a huge help with eliminating the continual adding of acids to the aquarium. As they're continually being added in, this is continually wearing them away. And another huge benefit to sterilization is the science is the electrical charge that's being provided to the aquarium is boosting the immunity of the fish. I have some other videos and we have some written information about how very much needed for the osmoregulation of fish. Doing a water change and definitely not using chemical filtration, these do not add an electrical charge back into the aquarium. But a UV sterilizer does, and that's a huge benefit. Alright, thank you so much for taking a look at this video. Do take a look at our other resources, our other videos, our written information, and our product store. We appreciate you guys so very much. Thank you, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.